Today's video, as you can tell by the title, is going to be a review and demo on the new Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation. I got this foundation about a week ago and I have been dying to test it out. I've heard great things about it. It is cruelty free and it is supposed to be uh, full coverage and hydrating. So I definitely gravitate towards hydrating foundations because I have such dry skin. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to see this foundation in action on a dry girl's face, keep on watching. It looks like it has 12 different shades, which they're kind of all on the lighter side. Um, there's not a whole lot for darker complexions. It's a lightweight, full coverage hydrating foundation infused with Tarte's Rainforest of the Sea Complex and non-chemical SPF 15 sunscreen. 12 hour water foundation. It's supposed to be full coverage and it features 20% water. It retails for $39 and it is one ounce. It does come with a little sample inside of the cleanser, the deep dive cleansing gel. This is a close up of the bottle. It is really pretty frosted glass. The only thing is I don't really love droppers, uh, dropper applicators. I'm sure it's this way because it's a little more water based and it's just easier to get kind of an even distribution probably with a dropper. It's just my thing, but whereas it's 20% water, that's probably why. And I have mine in the shade medium neutral. I did just self tan, so it might be a little bit too neutral colored for me. My tan's more golden olive. So I'm gonna go in with primer. I'm going in with my Benefit Professional, which is my Holy Grail primer. I usually just go in on my forehead where I have shine and um, lines and kind of fill those in before I go in with any foundation. So it does say shake well. So press down the button first to suck up some of the product. I'm using my Morphe M439 brush. I like never, ever, ever do my foundation without it. So I'm gonna go in with four drops. Hopefully that wasn't too much. I do have dry skin, uh, so water foundation. Hopefully it means it's hydrating. Those four drops actually were pretty light coverage, so I'm just gonna go in with another uh, full, I'll just empty the full pump there. So it feels fairly thin, definitely like a serum. So you can still see my freckles through the foundation, so it's not crazy full coverage, but it does give a really nice kind of natural coverage look. So I just used about two and a half pumps for my entire face. I wouldn't go too much more coverage um, than this. Wow, this actually looks really good around my nose. I, for some reason, maybe it's my dry skin, most foundation kind of tends to cake up and look really dry and um, cakey around my nose, but this doesn't at all. It blended in super, super well, and it looks really flawless. So when you get close to my forehead, it doesn't even look like I'm wearing foundation. Um, it does a little bit like around my mouth. Okay, so we're gonna see if it's buildable. I'm gonna add just like a couple more drops. Um, and test it out on my cheeks because my cheeks have some spots on them. It looks like it's almost taking it off. If I get closer, can you see where it almost looks like it kind of took off some foundation right there? I think that it will get cakey or start to rub off once you add too much more product. Um, so about two, maybe two and a half uh, droppers worth of foundation was definitely enough to cover my face to my likings. Again, I would probably call it like medium to full coverage. My initial reaction, if you can see, I feel like it's a natural finish. I'm going to finish off the rest of my makeup, go in with some concealer and the rest of my face makeup, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I am back with the rest of my makeup finished. I must say, I wasn't going to set the foundation. It was super, super tacky, so I did set it with a little bit of the Laura Mercier loose translucent setting powder. Um, I put it where I was gonna put my bronzer because I feel like if I didn't set it where I was gonna put my bronzer, then it was gonna look really patchy and muddy. I could tell. When I touched it without setting it, it would almost transfer onto my hand just a little bit. So far, I'm finding it super, super flawless. Um, 
I do think that it's caked up a tiny bit around my mouth. I'm not oily or anything like that, but I do have super dry skin, so I don't get oily very often unless it's a really dewy, luminous um, foundation. So I've had this foundation on for about an hour and 20 minutes. As you guys can see, it still shows through some of my freckles, which I don't mind. And it's a little bit cakey right here. I don't know if you can see that super well on camera, but it's not too dewy on me right now. I do have highlight on my cheeks, so that's just that showing through. Well, it's not settling into my forehead wrinkles too much, um, at least not initially. We will see throughout the day because it is kind of settling into these lines here. So I think without priming my forehead, it might settle into those lines. Currently it's 122. So I will check in with you guys and let you know in a few hours what I think and how it's holding up. So I am back and it is 611. So I've had the foundation on for about five hours now. It hasn't broken up anywhere that I've noticed so far. Um, the only thing is, is that in my smile lines, it definitely has settled into them. It hasn't broken up or anything around my nose where usually it does. And I definitely don't have any oils coming through, but I mean, that's to be expected because I'm so dry, I hardly ever get oily with foundation. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's a little bit cakey around my mouth area. And then, like I said, it settled into the fine lines a little bit. It's gotten into my forehead a little bit, my forehead lines just a little bit. But I feel like it's one of those foundations that when you're further away, it looks super, super flawless. Um, and when you're super close up, it looks a little cakey. Worn off just a tiny, tiny bit in my jaw region. I'm going to zoom you out now because it's a little awkward to be looking at all my wrinkles and pores. I haven't noticed that it's oxidized at all. Um, it still seems to match my body pretty well. And just so you guys know, I did not set it with a setting spray. I wanted to see how the foundation wore on its own, but as it wears, I think it's losing its fresh look to it. Um, it's kind of making my skin look a little older than it really is. Um, it looks okay right here a little bit, but around the mouth and right in between my eyebrows, it's almost settling. Yeah, it's almost looking like cakey in between my brows too. So I will probably check back with you guys um, in a few more hours. It is 10.22. It's been about 10 hours since I've had the foundation um, fully on. I must say that it is wearing off a little bit patchy in places. Um, I definitely would not think that this is a 12 hour wear foundation. I think on me and my skin personally, foundation lasts a long time. So I think, you know, it looked really good for about five hours, I would say. And then it started looking kind of patchy and um, settling into lines and whatnot. So. All in all, I would say the foundation is good. I don't really think that it's going to be my staple holy grail foundation. Take home points, I think that it is more of a medium coverage. It's slightly buildable, but if you start building it up too much, like we saw in the beginning, it starts to patch off. It's doing that slightly around my nose, not a ton. It is definitely settled into all of my lines around my mouth and kind of caked up around here and patched off around here. So it's not the most even application of foundation that I've ever seen. It's definitely very tacky if you don't set it. Mm, I don't know. I'll give the foundation like six and a half out of 10, maybe seven out of 10. I don't know. I feel like it's making my skin look old and kind of cakey. So that is it for my review on the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation. I am going to wipe my makeup off and call it a night. So I hope you guys found this review helpful. If you did, let me know. If you want to see reviews on other certain products or new products, definitely leave them in the comments below. If you guys have tried out this foundation and you have something to say about it, whether it worked for you or didn't work for you, 
Let me know in the comments below if you have dry skin, oily skin, whatever the situation is. Um, let me know what your thoughts on the foundation was. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Whoa, we are up close and personal. This is a little awkward. I've never been this close before. This lighting is making my skin look so flawless. I swear it doesn't look that good in person. <laughs> That's horrible to say. That's horrible to say.